and gentlemen, Shark and Noor present three three minute rounds for the vacant amateur flyweight championship. And in the red corner, with a record of four wins and no defeats, weighing at 125.8 pounds, representing Manhattan in Chichester, please welcome the first challenger, Ashley. Five wins and six defeats. Weighing in at 125 pounds even. He is finding out a gym of one from High Chair in Portsmouth. Please welcome the second challenger, Harry Challenge the action, Mr. Clive Allison. Referee Clive Allison about to get this one underway. Three three minute rounds for the vacant shock and awe amateur flyweight title. Ashley Kilvington undefeated at 4 0 in the black. Takes on Jim O'Wan's Elliot Hoy. Five wins against six losses in the grey. Experience edge then goes to Hoy. Kilvington though with that undefeated record. Starts things off with a body kick. Yeah, so, so you know, two up and coming fighters. They both want that title. Kilvington, first blood with the takedown. Boy, back up to his feet. Great work. Great stuff from Hoy already trying to get a grip on that neck. And a lot of support in the Mount Batten Centre for both these young men. So it's pretty clear what Kilvington wants. He, you know, he wants to take it to the ground and work from there. Which he's done. Got a nice, nice big takedown there. Third time he's put Hoy on his back and, and good cage awareness there to take his man down away from the fence that Hoy's used twice now to stand himself back up 
And let's see what Kilvington can do from here. Is he going to perhaps look to attack that arm on the far side? Yeah, I mean, he has a Kimura position here. So he's always got to be careful with his arms. Kilvington jumping on the neck here. Standing guillotine, arm in. Be very difficult to finish. Yeah, difficult to finish. There's a lot of pressure there, though. A nice takedown from Hoy. Kilvington refusing to let go of that neck. Well, eventually, looks like Hoy's going to pop his head out, and he does. And let's see what Elliot Hoy can do from this top position now. Hoy looking for Kilvington's neck here. Kilvington looking to wrap his man up in that guard. Get to work from the bottom here. Looking for the armbar. Hoy's going to have to be careful. Yeah, this is really where Hoy wants to be. On top with his opponent against the cage so he can throw his ground and pound shots. But again, you know, you've got to be careful. These, these Jack McGee fighters have, have really active guards, really dangerous guards. Final 10 seconds of the round. And they've certainly set a frantic pace. Oh, nice. Really exciting fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kilvington, my seat here. yeah, Kilvington with three. Uh, big takedowns early on to set the tone. Hoy able to gain top position later in the round. Perhaps give that one to Kilvington on the balance of things. But as you say, a real seesaw battle and still very much anyone's game. So we look at the replays here from the first round. And Elliot Hoy constantly attacking. He was attacking the neck, looking for the arm here as well. Certainly by no means just giving up these positions. When Kilvington was looking for the takedowns, able to get back to his feet on two occasions there. Yeah, uh, for me, the, the third takedown was the one that really counted because he got, although Kilvington got the takedowns, Hoy was straight back up again. The third one was the one that counted. He got the takedown, worked a little bit from the top. Um, at, but Hoy also had a, had a top position to, to finish out the round. So, yeah, good work from both guys there. Still everything to play for. Six minutes is all that separates one of these men from the vacant shock and all title. Kilvington coming out with strikes early. Ever so slightly getting better at those striking exchanges, but Hoy. Able to close the gap there. Really good work from Hoy there. He, he capitalised on that leg, went to the hips. Now looking for the takedown. But a nice reversal from Kilvington. Kilvington looking to run the pipe here. And the corner just claiming that Hoy was... Hanging on to the fence, I believe. Uh, he wasn't. He wasn't. He had his elbow on the uh, corner poster. You can see it pretty clearly. But I don't blame him. It's his fire in there, you know. He's, they came here to win. Looking for the neck again is Elliot Hoy. Kilvington fighting at every step of the way, but oh. Hoy got an interesting grip there. Yeah, he did have, yeah. Um, is it another big takedown? Yeah, yeah. big kick, pick up there by Ashley Kilvington. Deposits Hoy right in front of us here at the commentary position. Yeah, Kilvington's takedown's working well off, off the, the cage wall. Let's see if Hoy can get his back against the fence again and look to power his way up. Yeah, well, Hoy's got the underhook there. If he can get his, his right leg back, yeah, like that, and stand, there you go. It's a good job. Textbook stuff drives a knee up the centre. Going to be careful of the follow-up takedown, though, from Kilvington. Yeah, he needs to split his legs. Oh, he's looking for a guillotine position there. Quite a close one there. A Marcelatine, perhaps, looking for. Didn't quite have the leverage. And do we see Hoy get up again?
Kilmington certainly not getting a free ride on these takedowns. He's being made to work for every inch. Both these men with a lot of support in the building here tonight. Looking to feed off the crowd's cheers. Hoy trying to stand up. He's going to be very careful here. Yeah, Kilmington on his back. Yeah, he's um, Hoy's doing the right thing by grabbing the back of the head and compressing so that he can get back into a guard position. He's got to be careful he doesn't leave his left arm out for an arm bar, though. But, you know, we're at the end of the round now, so... Great fight. Really good fight. Hoy again ends up on top at the end of the round. I'll show respect there at the end of the round. And again, as you say, Hoy finishing strong. Kilvinson able to score a number of takedowns there, but Hoy's just fighting him every step of the way. Yeah, so, so the replay's showing that nice leg catch and then into um, a clinch from Hoy. And then Kilvington changing the position around, and I think he gets a, a takedown off of this. I mean, looking briefly at both corners, you know, both these guys look in tremendous shape. Neither man looking particularly fatigued at this point, and that's what we've come to expect from the flyweights over the years. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I'd be very surprised if these guys gas out. And the crowd on its feet here at the Mountbatten Centre. Third and final round. Show of respect between both fighters before we get this one underway. Classy. Final three minutes. And again, Kilvington coming out, throwing that hard right hand. Hoy countering. So Hoy looking for the takedown now, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if he was told to get a takedown where he's down on takedowns. But Kilvington turning it around. Kilvington to just bulldoze his way in there. Going to be wary of the knees from Hoy. He scoops his man's ankles out from underneath him though. Again, a good takedown by Kilvington, but he needs to work a little bit harder, I think, um, when, he, when he gets these positions. Hoy already looking to, to get back up. I think you really hit the nail on the head there. You know, his entries are good in that first phase of the takedown, but it's, it's just a completion and, and that, that final landing position that's letting Kilvington down here. Knee to the body there. Oh, Hoy reverses the position. And what drama this would be if Elliot Hoy could score a late submission win here or a late stoppage. He's finished both rounds strong, but he's got a lot of time here. Kilvington looking to squeeze his way out. Hoy stays strong on top. Yeah, Hoy, Hoy doing some damage there. Kilvington managing, powering up. Kilvington surges back to his feet and now looking to take Hoy down. Hoy. Grips the neck of Kilvington, but Kilvington's out. Is Hoy going to get up again? The, the crowd here willing Elliot Hoy back to his feet. Kilvington again trying to link those hands and score a double leg off the cage. I mean, I give a lot of respect to Kilvington for his takedown. You know, he's, he's hit a lot. He's hit a lot of them in, throughout the fight. It's just maybe a little bit more work needed when, when he's there. I mean, Hoy answers every time with a stand -up. again, another stand up. Again, Hoy looking to get a hold of that neck. Less than half a minute to play with. Kilmington just putting all his weight on Hoy, looking to switch now for that single leg. Hoy tenderizing the ribs there. And again, Kilmington able to just take Hoy off his feet. And there's the final buzzer. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how the judges are going to look at this one. 
very, very hard, uh, very hard one to look at. I mean, definitely Kilmington with those takedowns, without a doubt, without a doubt. You know, Hoy kept the grappling competitive all the way through, so you know, it may just come down to the fact that Kilvington was perhaps the aggressor on those takedowns. Hoy, though, able to put his back on the cage and stand up after nearly every one. Constantly attacking the neck of Kilvington, too. Kilvington, though, able to stand strong in the face of adversity, just power on through and just relentlessly chase those takedowns through all three rounds. Wouldn't have minded another couple of rounds of that one just to, uh, to separate these two. But it will go to the judges' scorecards. Yeah, very exciting fight. One of the best ones of the night for me. Really enjoyed that. Absolutely. Plenty more to come here at Shock and All 24. And we'll throw this one to MC Ricky Wright to see who will be crowned the new flyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we've had a goal to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 29-28. For your winner by unanimous decision. And now, shock and awe, amateur flyweight champion. In the red corner, Ashley. And let's hear for a very valiant challenger, Elliot Hoy.